everybody, it's Manda, and we are here with Ink Flight Reveal Day. Now, usually I don't have to do an Ink Flight Reveal Day because we go through the Ink Flight, but April is a very special month. And, oh shoot, I just realized that my clues... Oh good, they're right here. Is this it? Yes. Okay, so our clues... So we had clues. The April box is always fun, or at least for the last three years. This is the third year that they've done it. It's my favorite box so if i really hope that they continue to do this because i'm a giant i'm a huge fan i know some people don't like it um but i'm a huge fan of like having to figure out things and i am not always great at it but i can say uh this year i nailed it because ink flight posted the reveal and i was one of two people who guessed them all correctly so, yay. <laughs> so, uh, I guess the prize for doing that, and I just did it for fun. I, I don't care about prizes, um, but uh, I, I'll i get the May Ink Flight box for free. So, that's so cool. Okay, so I'm looking forward to May, obviously, but I'm an Ink Flight fangirl. This channel exists because my two favorite Ink Flighters stopped getting the Ink Flight, and I was like, no we need these videos so yeah so I'm definitely super excited about this um yeah actually there's a lot of exciting things happening but the thing I'm excited for right now is this ink flight so we have hints they've posted the reveal I have guessed all the inks correctly so I hope that I write them down correctly and um yeah so we're gonna go back and we're gonna update my uh, coloring cards and I'll talk about kind of like how I came up with the answers and how like because I know that there were a few that I was stuck on but um, yeah so we'll chat about that and um, update my ink flight cards so they have their names on them and yeah so I hope that you enjoyed this video um, like I said I love I love the April Fool's box or the like sneak peek secret ink flight it's I have a lot of fun like trying to figure it out and I think the first year that they did it I got like I was like I got these all right and I got like one or two correct <laughs> and actually one of the ones that I got correct I got correct because I'd used it the day before uh, for my 30 inks <laughs> so yeah and then last year I got, I think I got like five out of the seven correct, except I was salty about two of them because two of them are inks that I had and I thought I should have gotten them and I didn't because I don't know why. I don't know why. I think I was using the clues too much instead of my experience with the inks, but that's okay. This year, this year, but I thought I nailed those two. Like, I will go into this 100% like, oh, I got this. And then you're like, no, 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 you don't. But this year, this year I got it. So cool. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my, oh my God, I can't wait to clean this placemat. Um, I'm going to use my uh, Moon Man Mini Gloss Dip Pen. Um, I get a lot of questions about this. It's a, um, sometimes you can find it under the brand Delike, but if you just look for like Gloss Dip Pen, you can usually find them. This one specifically I found by searching Moon Man Mini. Um, because uh, Chris Signs had one and also Count at Creepy Nibs had one and I love this thing because I love that it has a cap on it and I don't have to worry like even though I've broken my fair share and by my fair share I mean like two of these gloss nibs by being dumb like wiping it off and like just being a little rough with it it's it's largely protected because it has a cap and I just really enjoy that and I like this one specifically I have one that doesn't post but I like this one specifically because the lid posts and I don't have to hunt for it or keep track of it because um my desk is a disaster and uh, I lose things just in the blink of an eye so <laughs> so yeah so my moon man mini gloss dip pen and we're going to update our coloring cards we have our hints here we have our inks here and I also am going to update my uh, Tomoy River paper um, here. And uh, yeah, so awesome. So let's get it going. So our first hint is from the Green Mountains to the Pacific, this teal puts you in a golden state of mind. Now I live in California, so I got a lot of those hints. Um, I also have this ink in a bottle and I have used it and am familiar with it. So this is California, or this is Monteverde, California teal. Um, oh, where's my, where's a vial holder? I have options for vial holders and I have none of them sitting here. Where is, 
where did my vial oh here here we go here is my kitty cat this is a toothbrush holder from Daiso. It's seen, <laughs> it needs a bath. Um, and it is a toothbrush holder uh, from Daiso. Um, I've had it a really long time at this point. Um, and it was a gift from a viewer and pen friend, Cassandra. So thank you, Cassandra. Um, if you have a Daiso, it's a, if you haven't heard of Daiso, it's kind of like a Japanese dollar store and they have all kinds of like cool stuff. They have stationary things. They have like fountain pen friendly paper that isn't advertised as fountain pen friendly, but you can go and some of it is. And then um, they actually even sell fountain pens. Like the Daiso fountain pen is very inexpensive and actually like not a bad pen. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, so they sell all kinds of cool stuff. And this was a gift from a lovely viewer. And yes, I also have another one that Chris sent me. And then I have um, a makeup brush holder that holds uh, six ink samples that I should be putting these in, but it's actually over, it's own in my room at this, at this moment, and I'm not going to go get it. But that was also sent by another pen friend. So, um, anyway, yes. So the vial holder. So our ink number one is Monteverde California Teal. So I didn't really have to, oh, I didn't grab a cloth or a paper towel. Okay. Let me write this and then I will go grab that. I might think I'll probably zoom in a little bit so you can see. Um, yeah, so I'm really familiar with this ink. I know that it's this lovely shade of green, um, and I know that it has sheen, although my swatch doesn't have a ton of sheen. Um, it does have a hint of it. And our Tomoe River paper also, ha oh, I should have saved that. Oh no, I wrote it down, so it's fine. Our uh, Tomoe River paper also has um, a lot of sheen, that red sheen on it. It's a lovely ink. If you've never tried it, um, please, you should definitely check it out. And let me go get, well, let me go get an ink cloth real fast. I'll be right. Okay. You're all better. And I don't need to write this one down because we did that and it was correct. So awesome. Cool. 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 Um, so there we go. So Monteverde has it dried a little bit. There's some halo sheen. Oops. In the text. Um, just because of the gloss dip pen having so much ink on it, but yeah, awesome. The next ink was one that I was stuck on for um, a really long time. The clue is Mark Twain would say this pink is a color the blind can see. Whoops, there you go. And I was like, what the heck does Mark Twain have to do with pink? Like, it was really, I started looking up Mon uh uh, I started looking at Mark Twain quotes and was just like, what am I, like, what, like, I started <laughs> Googling the clue. <laughs> I was like, what is this? Like, I don't know uh, all the Mark Twain quotes. All, I don't know any Mark Twain quotes off the top of my head. Um, but it turns out that I did say in the video that I wonder if it's part of the Monteverde emotions line because I knew that they had some and I it looked familiar and actually it looked familiar because I've actually used this ink before. Um, I think I might have used it in a previous 30 inks if I'm not mistaken. It, I think it was before YouTube. But um, yeah, it's Monteverde Kindness Pink. I meant to look up the full quote so I could share it with all of you in case you weren't sure. Um, somebody actually left it in the comments, but um, since I'm using my phone to record, I can't uh, do that. Uh, the quote is, the ki kindness is a language with which, well, let me start over. Kindness is a language which the deaf can hear and the blind can read or see. It's, I've seen it. A couple of different ways but also I've also read that the quote is attributed to him but it's actually not a quote that he said so I don't know what's true um, but yeah that's that's the quote so Monteverde kindness pink and that's number two and I do need to update this because I wasn't sure
I did obviously figure it out before I submitted my answers. So uh, yeah, so Monteverde Kindness Pink. And um, like I said, it was, I, I do recall it being familiar. Um, so the thing with ink flights, the ink flights like these is usually, it's in, usually an ink flight is like one brand and they pick seven colors and send us, send us those inks to try out. But the ink, the, um, the secret ink flight box is usually a few different inks from a few different brands. So having that knowledge, because I've got, I've gotten these boxes before, I knew that it had to be something related. Like they don't just put one ink from one brand in the box. I don't, I don't think they've ever done that anyway. Um, yeah, it's usually a one or two and obviously we get seven ink samples. So one might have three, um, uh, like in this case it did. Um, yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of how I knew sort of what direction to go, and that's why I thought it might be one of the Monteverde Emotions lines because I this ink did seem familiar, and I knew that I had tried a few of those. So I tried I've tried um, uh, Gratitude. I think it's Gratitude Magenta, which I had received a sample from uh, Pen Friend Carolyn. I tried this one just on my own. Um, I think I might have tried a couple of others. But I don't remember which ones off the top of my head. Um, or maybe I just thought about trying some of the other ones. Uh, it wasn't a line that really just like spoke to me a whole lot. Um, but so I didn't really feel the need to get it. But anyway, uh, moving along, ink number three. Um, I think everybody nailed this one. Um, or almost everybody. Um, oh, say can you see the sheen of the stellar blue ink? So Colorverse last year. Oh, was this even in the frame? Okay, there we go. Uh, Colorverse, I think last year, the year before, came out with the Stars and Stripes. There's a glistening version uh, and then just the plain version, and we received the plain version. I have kind of gone back and forth about getting the glistening version and just haven't done it. Um, but yeah, but I have a sample of, and it's a really pretty blue. It's a nice blue with a red sheen. Um, I think it's sheenier than my sample is, than my uh, card is allowing. But, um, yeah, it's a really pretty ink. So, um, yeah, and it's one of those that, like, coats the vial real well. Um, which I like. Even though I think sometimes those inks can be a little difficult to clean. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and colors. I think it's stars and stripes. I believe, I don't, I believe it's a US exclusive ink, but I could be completely wrong on that. Um, okay, and I already wrote this one down, so we don't have to do that. And this was, this was the first one. Well, I was pretty sure about California Teal, but this one is the one, one of the first ones that I was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know that one, just, I don't even have to look at the ink. I just know what that one is from the clue. So yeah, really pretty blue. Um, next up we had number four, which is another one that I was really positive about because I had used this ink before. I even wrote it down. And it's, it's, the only thing that I didn't write down is which number it is. And I think, oh, I've forgotten already. I think it's number six. I think it's number six. Because, f f so one is shiny black, two is bluish green, three, I think is deep purple, and four is milky lavender, five is dirty red, six is this. Um seven is cyan cyan and eight is yellow so i think this one is six um in the project the colorverse project series i like that series a whole lot the only ones i have are dirty red and um dirty red and uh shiny black uh, i do really like the deep purple but i have robert oster deep purple so i didn't feel the need to get that one um and I, I know that this one is it's because when I did the, when we received the ink flight, this was the only color that we didn't have. And I gave that box away. I think that was November's box, um, to, um, our viewer, uh, viewer friend, uh, guardian of fun. So, 
um, when I sent the box to them, I, uh, cotton blue. I threw this, um, I threw the sample in so they'd have the whole set because I had, I had all the other, I had samples of my own already. So yeah, that way they could try the whole set since it was only missing that one. I think this one was actually their favorite when I did the swatching too. Um, Guardian of Fun, if you're watching this video, let me know how you like this uh, cotton blue. Oh uh, yeah, it's really pretty though. It looks like it has some uh, purple coming out. It's a really, it's a really fun shade. Um, yeah, so awesome. And here, oh, here is the uh, hint. I think I read it, but didn't show it. No polyester here. Clothe your paper in this 100% heavenly blue ink. So, uh, color number five. Oh yeah, this is one. Hypothetically, this ink might be the cause of the universe's rapid expansion. And I knew this one based on the clue without even looking at the ink because of Sarah Katie's videos, because it was her day one. I did go back and look it up because I was like, which video is that? I know that I watched it. Um, it was her day one video, um, Colorverse Redshift. So uh, yeah, so we had that correct. Um, I think that was when I wrote down. Yeah. Oh, I didn't write it down because I wasn't sure. Uh, no, did I say Redshift? Dark Energy. Um, I wasn't sure about which one it is, uh, which one, or what the name was, so I had to go watch her video to look, but it's uh, Colorverse Dark Energy. I think I got confused just now because, well, I was going back and forth between that, but I guess the Ink Flight photos say Redshift, but it's Dark Energy, so I don't know. Uh, oops, 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 oops. Colorverse Dark energy so thank you thank you sarah katie for helping figure out uh ink flight number five. Oh shoot i just un i just cleaned my pen and i didn't write it down let's go ahead and redip it i'm excited to get this one in a pen to see if i really want like either another like five mil sample bottle of it to play with or um or just a whole bottle i don't need a whole bottle but dark gee and i know this isn't the right color but i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna fill that in there so six and seven there's that dark energy you can see that awesome machine and uh, the card has it as well Oops, I'm like zoomed in really far. The card has it as well, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so six and seven were ones that I was really stuck on. I had no idea, and I thought the brown was something else. Um, I know we had talked about it maybe being uh, Mont Blanc, uh, Purdy and Sons, um, but actually, like, when I thought that, it was just based on the clue and the color and all that, like my memory of the color, which is... Excuse me. Um, I think it's different. I didn't grab the card. I should have grabbed the card so we can compare them. Um, and I've just cleaned everything up so they're not... Oh, maybe they're here. No, that's not it. Um, anyway, yeah, so... So I was really looking for this one because I saw that Vaness had had the Diplomat inks. And I thought that they had one called whiskey or cognac or something some sort of alcohol thing they don't they have a they do have a pretty brown but it's not it's not what I saw but when I was looking for it um the ink brand for these two inks popped up and um I found this one and then this one popped up and I was like oh okay so I sort of found these by accident I didn't know them off the top of my head but I found them by accident and I was very confident with that decision based on the clues it made it made a lot of sense so that those are the answers that I submitted so we'll start with number six however because number six is what is this okay that's fine um number six Okay, just making sure I didn't miss anything. Um, no, I mean, I'm on lunch, but you know, when those alerts go off. Um, so number six is actually, where's the clues? Number six, generations of counts and baronesses, oops, 
Get it in frame, and uh, enjoy this ink inspired by the fruit of these Mediterranean plants. Now, I knew that it was olive because olive and Mediterranean, and I knew it was olive green, obviously the color. I knew it was going to be an olive green of some sort, but I wasn't sure. And so many brands have so many olive greens. I think I thought it was Vert Ol Olive. I know I'm saying that all wrong. I'm so sorry. If you speak French, I apologize. Um, um, yeah, I thought it was, what did it, J. Urban? I thought it was one of the Urban inks because they know that they have an olive green and it's kind of light like this. Uh, that wasn't it. And then, like I said, I found this one when I was looking for uh, this one and was like, oh yeah, that's definitely what it is. So this ink is Graf von Faber-Castell. olive green. Now I don't have a lot of experience with the Graf on Faber Castell inks. I have Stone Gray and I have the Yozakura and I have samples of a few of the other ones. I really like the electric, I think that, I think their pink is called electric pink. I really like that one, but they have like three or four greens. I think they have three, three greens. They have this one, they have a moth, they have moss green and then they have viper green. And those are all really pretty. I don't need, I think I have samples of a couple of, I think I have samples of viper, viper green maybe. Maybe I thought about getting samples of Viper Green. I'm not sure. But, but yeah, they have some lovely greens in these Graphon Faber Castell inks. And this is a brand that I like. I know that I sleep on this ink, on this uh, brand. I know um, Count of Art Creepy Nibs really loves the Stone Gray, but also the Carbon Black that they have. And, um,. Yeah, they have a couple, they have some blues. They have like a midnight blue that I don't, I don't, I remember not being a big fan of. Um, but I think they have like, is it called Gulf Blue? Which is one of those like turquoise aqua blues that I'm sure is real popular. They have an orange, I think too. I think their burned orange is one that I like a lot. Um, yeah, so the, the ink is pretty expensive, but you can find it some places for fairly cheap sometimes. Um which is how I got my bottle of Stone Gray, actually. I got it on sale. Um, yeah, so so this is definitely one to check out. I'm going to enjoy my sample. Um, I just realized I forgot to write it down on our Tomoe River paper. So I will go ahead and do that. Graphon Femmer Castell Olive Green. So pretty. And we didn't get like a lot of sheen or anything on this card, but on the Tomoe River paper, there's some, it's like, it has like black sheen, which is really, or it's either black or like super dark green, but I think that's really interesting. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but yeah, it's a really lovely color. I actually love the color on the Tomoe River paper better than on my swatch card, which happens sometimes. Um, okay, so that's that. And like I said, this was the one that tied everything together. Uh, it's the one that um, helped me find number six because I was really stuck on those two. Um, um, also makes sense because we're sticking with like royalty and the clue is after a long day retire to the royal living quarters to enjoy a snifter of the spirited ink and there were a couple of people in the comments that mentioned probably something like cognac because of the snifter clue and i was like i don't i don't drink enough to like know all of the terminology and i uh, definitely don't use the correct glasses when i do drink so you know it is what it is but uh yeah so so yeah, so this ink is a uh, Graf on Faber Castell Cognac. Which made perfect sense once I figured out what it was. Oh, I always spell cognac wrong. I think that's right. I think that's right. It's cognac. Not cognac. So yeah, there you go. Hopefully I spelled that right, and if I didn't, I apologize. 
Um, yeah, so that's our that's our ink. Those are our ink flights. Well, how did I make this video twenty like almost half an hour? Like seriously, I need to I need to cut some of that. I think I don't know. But yeah, so that those are our inks for the month. Oh, and I need to write. I didn't write it down. Here. What a dork. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Boop. Haha, <laughs> that gave me definitely enough ink to write the name, so cool. Griff. Cognac. So awesome. So I hope that you um, enjoyed this video and this reveal. Um, we, the uh, Ink Flight crew was supposed to have a like little Zoom meeting earlier this week to get their final reveal, but um, I actually wasn't going to be able to join it anyway. So, and then it got it got uh, canceled for uh, scheduling conflicts. So um, yeah, so um, I found out just like the rest of you did. So that's so cool. So thank you so much for watching. Let's go ahead and uh, line out our cards. So we had Monteverde California Teal, which was ink number one. Let's see if I can get these all in the frame. I can if I zoom out, I think. There we go. And uh, ink number two was Monteverde Kindness Pink. And then ink number three was Color Rush Stars and Stripes. Ink number four was our Color Rush Project Cotton Blue. Um, number five was Color Rush Dark Energy. Oh, I might have to zoom out. Oh, you can see my mess. Um, number six was a uh, graph on faber castell olive green which is this ink sample here let's let's move these over so i can fit the other one on the placemat just barely just barely move that out of the way so there's our, there's our ink flight reveal. <laughs> so yay. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you ink flight for another fun April box. I love these boxes. Thank you so much for the kind and generous gift of May's box. I'm looking forward to it immensely. Um, yeah, this was so fun. So I hope that you enjoyed this. If you got the ink flight, did you get any of them right? Did you even bother guessing? They only had 11 people that submitted guesses, so you have a really good chance of winning. Congratulations, Kristen, for also knowing all of your inks. And um, Kristen's also a viewer of the channel. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, so congratulations, Kristen. I'm happy that we're in this boat together. So um, yeah, so if you get the ink flight, I'm not sure. I know when I checked um, in April, they had to um, they had to um, cap the spots, and I also know that the box is having a slight price increase of I think five dollars. Um, so I don't know what that's going to mean for May, um, but if you want it, please check out inkjournal.com and see if it's available. You know that I'll be posting an, an unboxing video. Um, there's a couple of other people that post um, their unboxings when they get it. I know Mary Hodges has posted a few. Um, Sarah Katie just got her first one this month. Um, I think who Productive Dragon also does an unboxing. Um, I think Angelise. I forget her channel name, but I'll link her. She also posts an unboxing, and there's I, there might be one more. I think I'm missing one, and if I'm missing you, I'm sorry. Um, if you've seen any other Ink Flighters uh, posting videos, um, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to give everybody a shout out because I think there's room for everybody here, and it's so fun. So if you get the Ink Flight and want to post a video, please do. Please note, though, if you are going to post a video, um, the community really 
doesn't like spoilers, so try to keep your um, stuff as spoiler-free as possible. Like, if you notice on my channel, I don't leave, I always say in the comments, I'm going to leave stuff in the comments, and then I'm like, oh crap, I can't leave stuff in the comments or in the in description box because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. My videos are as spoiler-free as possible, aside from unboxing it. Like, you have to actually want to know what's in the box in order to, in order to, um, to see what's in the box. I don't, I don't give you any hints. Like, the color of my thumbnail is not usually related. It's just whatever I'm feeling when I make the thumbnail. Um, yeah, so you really have to want to know what's in the box in order to find out what's in the box on my channel. So, yeah, I, I know some people in the community have, uh, have a hard time with spoilers. The official reveal never happens until the last, I think it's the fourth Friday of the month when Ink Flight does their big reveal. But, um... You know, it's fun to make the videos, and I love doing it. And like I said, my channel started because of Ink Flight videos, and my favorite Ink Flighters uh, uh, stopping their subscriptions. So, um, yeah. So thank you again, Creepy Nibs and Chris, for inspiring me to start this channel. Look where we are now, and we've just crossed 800 subscribers. How am I still talking? It's 32 minutes. I but I can't thank you all enough for being here and hanging out with me and just yeah having fun with some ink so thank you so much for watching this video and for watching any of the videos watching 30 inks watching anything watching my all my new pen days i'm not buying any more pens but all my new pen days <laughs> um, just thank you so much for being here whatever brought you here whether it was an ink or a pen or a shout out that I've received from somebody else. Um, just thank you so much for being here and for subscribing if you feel like it. I don't, I'm not one to be like, eh, leave it. Like, I like the comments. Please leave a comment because I love, I love conversing with everybody in the comments, but I'm not like, eh, like and subscribe. Like, da, da, da. like if you want to like and subscribe, you're going to like and subscribe. And if you don't want to like and subscribe, you're not going to, you're not going to do it. So, um, yeah, I, I, I just, Thank you. If you chose to come here, whether you're subscribed or not, thank you so much for being here. I really can't thank you enough. It's so much fun that I uh, do these, and I know that I'm like rambling at this point, but you're amazing, and I hope that you have a wonderful day and uh, or night, wherever you are in the world, whatever time of day it is. I hope you're having a good one, and I will see you very soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.